Oh yeah, packaged, working on the car today, and of course, it starts raining. Alright, so what's on the list for today? Today I will be upgrading my brake calipers. I've been sitting on this Akibano setup for like a year now, just being lazy. But today is the day I'm finally going to do it, so let's get started. Alrighty. I know I need new brake shoes, shoes for the um, parking brake, but don't burn me for that. I'm just being lazy. If I was smart, I'd just knock it all, knock it all out at the same time. But a project for tomorrow or the next day. So I think it's a little easier when you make these little cuts like I did in the uh, dust shield, then bend it back, then start cutting. But that's just me. Um, I tried using a um, on the other side. I finished the other side. I tried using a um, cutting disc, and it works fine. But I don't know. It's a little messy. So as long as you have a good set of 10 snips, you should be good to go. So here is my first round of cutting with the scissors. I know everything looks really janky and hella dangerous and non-OSHA approved, but I'm gonna go back through and clean all these sharp edges up. I'm trying to get it as close to um, this parking brake shield, I guess that's what. All right, and here is the second round of cutting, or kind of like third, but is it perfect? No. Will it get the job done? Yes. Definitely need to go back with a, uh, a grinding disc and kind of sand down or grind down some of those burrs. That way, um, whenever I'm working on the car next or whoever's working on the car next, to cut a finger off. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is brake, or not brake, but take off the bolt that holds the brake line in. It is a 12 millimeter. Um, you do have to replace the banjo bolt for the Octubanos. You cannot reuse the stock one from the G35. All right, so I got the brake line finger tight on there and the caliber mounted onto the hub. What I'm gonna do now is use this 14 millimeter with this really, really stubby ratchet um, to tighten up this brake line bolt, banjo bolt, but be very careful with it because it's the aluminum on the caliber is very soft, so it's easy to strip it, strip out the threads, and it's easy to snap that bolt, banjo bolt, because you think it's not tight enough. So you just want to bear, you want to snug it on to the point where you know it's tight, but not so tight that you know it's going to snap off. Because I've seen people do it, and it's a real possibility. I don't know what the torque spec is on it, but that's good enough. All right, so now I got the new rotor on, and uh, what I like to do is grab two lug nuts and snug them onto the rotor that way I know the rotor is not you know sideways or tilting making it harder for me to get the brake caliper on and brake pads in there so when you snug these two lug nuts on it just keeps everything nice and straight so now all I'm gonna do is mount the caliper and slide the brake pads in and grease everything up and I should be ready to go all right and there we go just like that we are done with this job the only thing I need to do is run a Nissan and grab the um, two pins that go inside of the sliders so that they don't back themselves out. Somehow I managed to lose mine, but hopefully they're not that much. So I actually like to use this as a little trick I picked up because I like to detail my car a lot. But I like to spray this on my uh, brake calibers because it definitely gives it like a glossy clear coat almost type of feel or look. And it also protects the paint from um, like dust and grime and all that stuff. It makes it a lot easier to clean. For you guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just comment down below. And I'll do my best to try to answer those. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.